So, hallo, herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Runde Let's Play Zero Escape Virtues Last Reward. Ja, zeigen wir erstmal kurz, wo wir uns denn gerade auf der Karte befinden. Nämlich hier, das heißt, zuallererst uns entschieden mit Luna durch die magentafarbene Tür zu gehen. Anschließend sind wir quasi mit, ähm, wir haben uns quasi für Betray entschieden. Dann gab es hier nur eine Möglichkeit, nämlich zusammen mit... Alice, die wir im Team hatten, und Clover als Partner durch die rote Tür zu gehen. Die anderen Optionen wurden quasi kategorisch ausgeschlossen. Und jetzt stehen wir hier vor der Tür und es hat mal wieder jemand ein Ambidex Gate geöffnet. Mit anderen Worten, höchstwahrscheinlich Dio. Gucken wir uns das mal an. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex Game Polling closes. The gate's been opened. One of the other teams must have done it. But the rest of us aren't even back yet. Well, we can fix that. Come on, let's get moving. Just then. Ach, da öffnet sich jetzt die blaue Tür. Whoa. Did you two just get back? Yes, we did, but... Then the team that opened the AB gate must have been the ones who went through the blue door. That would be Luna, Vi and Dio. Haben wir schon mal den Schuldigen wahrscheinlich. Huh? Wait. You guys went through the green door, didn't you? Then why the hell did you come out of the blue one? There's an explanation for that, I promise. Just tell me, have any of you seen Quark? Quark? No, we haven't seen him. Did something happen? He's gone. Gone. On the other side of the green door, we found a room called the treatment center. We found our key cards and left. But on our way out, he just disappeared. So we went through the blue door to see if he'd gone in there. No, that's not it. Look at this map. Langer Weg, den die zurückgelegt haben auf der Suche. Oh, so you go through the green door and the treatment center, and eventually you'll end up at the blue door. It looks like there's a pretty big room in the middle there. What is it? A warehouse similar to the one on floor A. In any event, we've spent some time searching, but have been unable to locate Quark. Huh. Well, maybe you went back to the other floor already. That is a possibility. I will return and see. I'm going back through the blue door. Figure I'll take a look at the area Luna and her team were searching. I'll come with you then. I've got a better chance at finding him with two pairs of eyes. Right. Thanks. Sorry about all this. I guess there's nothing for it. I'll help look for him. Me too. Then we'll leave Flora to you guys. Right. Let's go. Come on, Clover. Right behind you. Tenyoji and I headed through the blue door while Alice, Clover and Kay climbed into the elevator. Aber Quark ist echt immer irgendwie weg. Oder krank oder so. Naja. Ach, Pressure Exchange Chamber. What is this place? It looks like a bunch of hazmat suits, probably for protection against viral or chemical agents. So these things keep her from getting sick? Yeah, that's the idea. We should ask Luna's group about them. They investigated this room first. Hey, there's another room underneath. Well, let's have a look then. He's not here. Oh, Quark. Where the hell did you go? I should have kept a closer eye on him. If I'd just been watching. Temuji's face was drawn and the knuckles of his fists were white. He was an old man, but until then I hadn't realized how old. Suddenly he looked very, very tired. 
Don't worry about it. I'm sure we'll find him. Come on, let's go try somewhere else. I put a gentle hand on his shoulder and guided him toward the exit. So this is the Floor B warehouse, huh? It looks just like the other one. That's pretty close, I'll give you that. Couple differences though. Have a look over there. The doors are... shining. No way. Are these... chromatic doors? Yeah, seems like it. See over here? They've got a box next to them, just like the ones next to the other doors. I guess they're all white doors this time. We should go tell the... No, first we look for Quark. But... Look, I don't think he's here. What do you say we head back to floor A for now? Maybe somebody else has already found him. Alright, let's go. Just you. I'm guessing you haven't found Quark? I ran into Clover and Alice in the warehouse up on floor A. They told me about Quark and how you're all looking for him. So he hasn't come back to the warehouse? Nope. Maybe he just went off to ruminate on a solution to this game. Chewing his cut, so to speak. What? Well, that's what ruminants do, isn't it? Hey. This is no time for jokes. You should be out there looking for him, too. Uh, why would I do that? It sounds so boring. Aren't you worried about him? Why the hell would I be worried about some kid I've never even seen before? What? For all I know, he's Zero Senior. He could be hiding in some swank little cubbyhole, swirling a glass of brandy and gloating. Look at all those fools running around. <laughs> That's insane! Yeah, there's... What, there's no way? Are you sure? Nobody knows what Zero looks like. He could totally be a kid. I warned you, Tenmyoji. I told you it was a bad idea to just swallow everything that little bastard told you. I trust Quark. <laughs> Suit yourself. Just don't come crying to me when it bites you in the ass. The air grew thick with tension, but before they t uh, the Tempest managed to set it all out, fire burst into the room. Sigma. Good. You've got Tenmyoji and Dio with you. We found something. Come on, all of you. Did something happen? Just... you'll understand when you get there, alright? Now come on! Um, where are we going? The crew quarters. It's kinda of bomb order. No. What in the world? Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. There was a roaring in my ears. Breathing? Heartbeat? But my footsteps sounded muffled, as if they, I was hearing them through layers of cotton. I pressed a shaking hand to Alice's neck. The skin was still warm, but the only pulse I felt was my own. 
Luna was the same. They're... they're dead. Both of them. By then everyone had arrived, cramming themselves into the small cabin. Nobody spoke. Silence filled the room, flowing to my ears and throat like cold, brackish water. A chill shuddered its way through my body. I stood there, frozen, staring at them. I'd seen a corpse before, when we discovered the old woman, but this was different. The old woman had always been dead, at least to me. Alice and Luna I had known. They'd been living, breathing people, less than an hour ago. Reality settled around my shoulders like a thick lead blanket, and my chest felt suddenly hollow. Who... who found them? My throat felt dry as I spoke. It was a full minute before someone answered. Clover, I think. When Kay and I ran over, she was just kind of standing there next to the bodies. It was pretty clear they were both dead. I think Clover killed them. Me? Kill them? You got into a fight with Alice after the A-B game, didn't you? It looked like you two knew each other before you ended up here, so maybe you were trying to get her killed. None of us had any connection to her, which means you're the most likely to have a motive for murder. It's easy to see why she would have killed Luna, too. She probably caught you offing Alice, so you did her in, too, so she wouldn't rat you out. Stop it, Dio. The AB game is a motive, too. What do you mean? Once someone's dead, they can't vote anymore. That means they'll automatically ally. If your opponent's guaranteed to ally, then that's an easy three points. Who was Luna's opponent? Me and Dio. Then that would mean Dio had a motive as well. Yep. Alice saw him killing Luna, so he had to shut her up. <laughs> Why the hell would I do something like that? Pay attention next time. You do it to get an advantage in the next round of the AB game. What kind of cold-hearted bastard kills a lady for a few points? Interessant, bei uns hätte er kein Problem damit gehabt. Oh, okay. I'm more interested in Alice's condition than in her killer's motives. I am as well. What do you mean by her condition? Her clothes are barely disturbed. If it weren't for the knife and uh blood, she would look as if she was sleeping. Yeah, you're right. Well, maybe she was just killed while she was sleeping? If she wanted to take a nap, why sit on the floor when there's a bed nearby? That is a little strange. But a better question is, would she really be sleeping right now anyway? Hardly seems like a time for a nap. She was probably put to sleep then. What? How? Oh, come on. How did Zero Senior knock all of us out? Oh. Yeah, that white gas. So you're suggesting that Zero Senior knocked them out with the white gas, then killed them both? Yeah. However it happened, one of the people in this room did it. Well, maybe not one of the people in this room. I forgot about somebody, didn't I? Are you talking about Quark? He disappears and then suddenly there's a murder? I don't know about you, but that seems pretty suspicious to me. Nah, that's crazy. Quark couldn't have done this. All right, then why'd he disappear? There, there must have been some kind of accident. Then I might have it backwards. If he wasn't the murderer, maybe he was one of the murdered. Well, that would explain his sudden disappearance, right? You son of a bitch. Dio, knock it off. That's going too far. Whoa, whoa, calm down there, big guy. Don't tell me it never crossed your mind. I just said what you were all thinking. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. All right, time to head for the AB rooms, guys. Come on, we've got more important things to worry about.
Oh, so you're gonna abstain, huh? That's some good luck for you, Clover. Sigma was paired with Alice. Sadly, it looks like she won't be able to vote during this round. If Sigma abstains, then you'll have no one voting against you. Hey, come on, cheer up. This is your chance to escape. Escape? That's right. Right now, your BP's at six. Sigma's saying he won't vote, so if you choose betray... Clover would get three points, bringing her to nine. Whoa, hold on there. I didn't say anything about not voting. Oh, so you are going to vote? Well, you are, right? How exciting. Sigma should have six BP, just like Clover. That means this next round is a one-on-one -on -one fight. If one of them can trick the other one, they'll have enough BP to get out of here. Can't wait to see who wins. Ha! Oh, this is definitely getting interesting. Right. We should get to the Flore warehouse, guys. Come on. Hey, Clover. Can you choose ally? We'll be stuck at six points if we both choose betray. But if we both cooperate, we'll get two points and then we'll have eight. That means it'll be pretty easy for us to get nine in the next round. Clover? Yeah? I said I want you to choose ally. Okay. You'll choose ally too, right? Of course. She gave me a strange sort of absent nod and turned to shuffle into the closet AB room, a uh, closest AB room. So, das ergibt mehr Sinn. I wasn't sure if she'd actually understood me, but given the effect that Alice's death was having on her, I didn't think there was much else I could have done. I was preparing to enter an AB room of my own when I heard Fi's voice at my elbow and turned. Sigma we need to talk. Oh, hey, Fi. Something up? How are you planning to vote? I was just talking to Clover about that. We're planning to both vote ally. Yeah, I thought so. Huh? Listen to me, Sigma. Because Luna is... Because Luna's not voting in this round. The vote will default to ally. Her opponent is Dio and me. That means we're pretty much guaranteed to have 9 BP by the end of this round. You and Dio are going to choose Betray? Luna's only got 1 BP left, but she's not wearing her bracelet anymore. You saw that, right? That means it won't do anything if her BP goes negative. Well, it's not like it can make her any deader anyway. You have to betray Clover. If you can get to 9 BP, then I'll take you with us. Wait. You mean you're planning to escape? Of course. If you don't come with us, you're gonna be stuck here for the rest of your life. Why? If you just wait until everyone's got 9 BP... I can't do that. You really think Dio's gonna stick around once he's got enough points to split? You gotta make a choice here. The number 9 door is only gonna open once. If you pick Ally and Clover does too, then you only have 8 points. I promise you Dio's gonna make a break for it as soon as he can. If you want to have any chance of getting out, you need those three points. Now. So if I want to get out, I have to betray Clover? Right. Why are you telling me this? How do I know you didn't just tell Clover the same thing? Talk to Clover? I'd have about as much luck talking to a potato right now. The truth is, I want you to come with me. Why? I just... know that you're important, somehow. You just know, huh? Did you tell Kay? He's got six points right now too, you know? No, I haven't talked to him. He's playing against Ten Miyoji. Ten Miyoji's only got one point left. So if he chooses Ally, he's going to get penalized. Exactly. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. It's almost time. Remember what I said. You have to choose Betray.
She looked me in the eye until I nodded, then turned and jogged to her door. Ja, jetzt beginnt also ein Spiel. Wir könnten Glück haben und entkommen, aber nein. Is Clover really going to choose Ally? If she does, then all I have to do is choose Betray, and I'm out of here. No, I promised I'd choose Ally, so that's what I'm going to do. But Dio is almost certainly going to have 9 BP after this round. If he gets out, I'm going to be stuck here forever. 10 seconds remain. Und damit beende ich dann diese Folge, die hat eine sehr schöne Länge bekommen. Und in der nächsten Folge schauen wir dann, was wir wählen und wohin uns das führt. Ich bin gespannt. Wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal wieder. Spaß Theorie, nee, Spaß Theorie müssen. Also, ich hoffe, ihr habt Spaß. Lasst Kommentare da, was Theorien und so weiter angeht. Ein Däumchen, wenn es euch gefallen hat. Und dann, ja, geht's beim nächsten Mal weiter bei Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Cheerio.